For years, one question has quietly followed Apple through every product cycle. When will Apple make a foldable iPhone? While competitors rushed to release folding phones, Apple stayed silent. No teasers, no announcements, no confirmation. This silence only made the mystery grow bigger. Every leak felt like a missing puzzle piece. And now, something has changed. In the last year, trusted sources like Bloomberg, The Information, ET News, and Display Industry Analysts have all begun reporting the same thing. Apple has accelerated development of a foldable device, with a target launch window around 2026. When multiple independent sources begin telling the same story, it usually means the project is real, mature, and moving forward. Apple is not entering the foldable market because it feels pressure. It is entering because the company believes the technology is finally ready to meet its standards. According to insiders, the foldable iPhone already exists inside Apple's labs. These are not concept sketches or early experiments. They are full engineering prototypes being tested both internally and with supply chain partners. And Apple is not betting on just one design. Reports from ET News suggest Apple is developing two foldable form factors at the same time. One is a vertical flip-style phone, similar in size and function to devices like the Galaxy Z Flip. The other is a horizontal fold that opens into a small tablet. Bloomberg confirms that Apple is exploring both paths because the company does not see foldables as just another phone design. It sees them as a new interaction layer for its ecosystem. This is where Apple's thinking becomes different from everyone else's. For Apple, a foldable iPhone is not just about a flexible screen. It is about turning the phone into a dynamic hub that connects iPhone, iPad, and future AR products. The device is meant to change how users move between modes, tasks, and environments. But before any of that can happen, Apple has to solve the hardest problem in foldable technology, reliability. Apple's history shows a clear pattern. The company does not release products that are good enough. It releases products only when they are refined to the point where failure risks are minimal. This is why Apple repeatedly delayed its foldable plans. According to the information, Apple was not satisfied with the flexible OLED panels provided by Samsung Display and LG Display. The issues were not minor. Crease visibility, long-term durability, and deformation under temperature changes were all considered unacceptable. Apple engineers reportedly rejected multiple panel generations. Bloomberg sources say Apple wants the crease to be so shallow that it becomes nearly invisible during normal use. To achieve this, Apple is developing its own multi-point stress distribution system for flexible displays. Instead of concentrating pressure at a single folding line, the stress is spread across multiple zones, reducing wear over time. At the same time, display analysts from DSCC report that Apple is testing a new hinge design. This hinge uses a complex multi-line load distribution system designed to reduce mechanical fatigue in the central fold area. This is one of the most failure-prone parts of any foldable device, and Apple is treating it as a core engineering challenge. Materials are another critical area. Apple is working with LG on advanced flexible glass composites that could replace current ultra-thin glass solutions. These materials are designed to handle constant mechanical stress without cracking or losing clarity. If successful, this could set a new standard for foldable displays across the industry. But hardware is only half the story. The real intrigue lies in how Apple plans to use a foldable iPhone inside its ecosystem. According to Bloomberg and analyst Mark Gurman, Apple does not view this device as a modified iPhone. It sees it as the beginning of a new category. When folded, the device behaves like a compact iPhone. Familiar, simple, and pocket-friendly. When unfolded, it becomes something else entirely. A miniature tablet capable of advanced multitasking, professional apps, and expanded interaction. Apple is reportedly testing software layers that blend elements of iOS and iPadOS. This could mean adaptive interfaces that change based on screen size and orientation, rather than fixed layouts. In unfolded mode, users could run advanced creative tools like Final Cut, Logic, or professional design apps. This strategy aligns perfectly with Apple's broader direction. Over the last few years, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and VisionOS have been slowly moving closer together. Features, design language, and workflows are becoming more unified. 
A foldable iPhone could act as the bridge between these platforms. According to the information, Apple is already testing how foldable prototypes interact with Vision Pro. In some internal experiments, the unfolded phone can act as a portable workspace display for Vision OS. This turns the phone into an extension of Apple's AR ecosystem, not just a controller. In this vision, Apple devices no longer function as separate products. They operate as one connected system, adapting to the user's context in real time. Design leaks also provide clues about Apple's priorities. Reports from Nikki Asia and McRumors suggest the unfolded display will be between 7.4 and 8 inches, roughly the size of an iPad mini. Supply chain data supports this, as both LG Display and Samsung Display have received panel requests in this range. Thickness is another obsession for Apple. The company does not want the foldable iPhone to feel bulky when closed. Insiders say Apple considers this a critical user experience issue. To solve it, Apple is developing a segmented battery architecture that reduces thickness without sacrificing capacity. Barclays analysts also report that Apple is experimenting with a magnetic alignment system. This helps both halves close precisely, making the device feel solid instead of hollow. This addresses a common complaint with existing foldables. As for the name, nothing is final. Supplier reports mention iPhone Flip and iPhone Fold, but Apple has not confirmed either. Bloomberg sources suggest Apple may even introduce an entirely new series name to separate foldables from the standard lineup. What matters more than the name is the impact. Right now, foldable phones make up only about 1.5 to 2% of the global smartphone market. Despite years of availability, they remain a niche. The reason is simple. There is no clear quality benchmark that convinces mass market users. This is exactly where Apple excels. When Apple enters a category, it expands it. Tablets, smartwatches, and wireless earbuds were all niche before Apple made them mainstream. Bloomberg estimates that a foldable iPhone could grow the foldable market three to four times within two years. Apple users are more willing to adopt premium hardware. Developers will quickly optimize apps. Accessories, workflows, and services will follow. According to IDC, this could even reshape Apple's own lineup, potentially replacing the iPad mini and impacting entry-level iPads. The foldable iPhone also serves a strategic role. Vision Pro represents Apple's long-term future, but mass adoption of AR will take time. The foldable iPhone becomes the bridge, expanding interaction possibilities today while preparing users for what comes next. In this sense, the foldable iPhone is not a reaction to Samsung. It is an architectural platform, a device that connects Apple's mobile, tablet, and AR ecosystems into a single evolving system. If the leaks are accurate, 2026 will not just be the year Apple releases a foldable phone. It will be the year Apple redefines what a phone is supposed to be. Apple has never been first, but it has often been the one that rewrites the rules. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more deep tech analysis. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.